Okay guys, so this is a short video just showing a uh, waveform issue that seems to have appeared since the uh, release of Recordbox 4.2.0 um, and also the 4.2.0b which was the beta fix for 4.2. So, as you can see, we are just in a windowed uh, version of Recordbox, not the full screen. If we then go and drag a track onto the deck, uh, everything, loads, everything loads correctly. The waveform in the deck window is displayed correctly. Now, using uh, the 10-point touch in Windows 10 and on the Asus laptop, if, say, there's a song playing and I just needed to do something in the background while it was playing, which I often do, uh, three fingers on the mouse pad and we can literally select another window, look at whatever we're looking at, again, do the same, go back to record box, everything's there, all working fine. The problem seems to come along where if we, let's say we unload this track, and we put record box into full screen mode and let's say drag that track on again again the waveform all loads it plays fine no problem at all but then say we do the uh, same as we did in the windowed mode and we bring up say a web page scroll that whatever and then go back to record box the waveform display on the deck window disappears. Everything still works, no problem at all. Everything's there, cue points, apart from the display, which obviously is uh, a little bit annoying. So, I'm in case any of you uh, have the same problem, I'm using the NVIDIA uh, discrete graphics on the laptop. Uh, can't use the Intel inbuilt graphics uh, because Recordbox has had for quite a while, I think since its first release, a bug where if you use the internal graphics, uh, the Intel graphics, and go to full screen mode, the whole display freezes and you've got no option left but to uh, crash out of the program. Using the NVIDIA discrete graphics gets round this and everything works. And up to version 4.1.2, everything worked fine. Uh, the waveform display stayed exactly where it was. Uh, even when you were shifting between multiple windows, there was no problem. Uh, since the new release 4.2.0 and the beta release, that now is no longer the case. And uh, as I say, I've just put this video together very quickly. Hopefully Pioneer can identify this uh, and get the issue fixed. Hopefully. Okay, thanks for watching guys. And uh, if you've got any comments or experienced this, uh, please uh, just put, it in, put some notes in the comments section. Uh, and it'll be good to get an idea how many people this is affecting. Okay, thanks a lot.